start yet again, and not just for week four of the NFL season. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the sports update presented by Toyota. Get to all those injuries in a sec, including the backup plan for the Padres. But let's start with what was supposed to be a memorable season for the Saints, but instead, at least through three games, it has turned into something all too familiar. An 0-3 start. 31-14 loss to the Titans and Vince Young, who, by the way, played a night game on national TV for the first time since his last victory over a Reggie Bush team, the Rose Bowl, following the 0-5 season. But this game, just as much about the Titans' defense as the Madden cover boy. Last year's second-worst scoring defense held last year's highest-scoring team just 14 points and merely 252 yards of offense. But this is not last year in any way, shape, or form. First of all, Team 0-3 instead of 3-0. And, and Drew Brees having a dismal start. The Pro Bowl QB from a year ago with numbers very similar to Rex Grossman. In fact, worse. One touchdown pass, seven interceptions, and two lost fumbles. Four of those picks on Monday night. In case you're wondering about the Chicago QB, he has one touchdown, but only responsible for six turnovers, not nine. One other note, Deuce McAllister lost for the year, torn ACL. He is done in New Orleans. Meanwhile, the Rams also 0-3 and now also without their starting running back in Steven Jackson. He'll miss at least one week. Now reports out of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch saying 2-3 with a partial tear of his left groin, an injury he suffered in the fourth quarter of Sunday's loss to the Bucks. Second-round pick from Rutgers, Brian Leonard, will get his first career NFL start Sunday against the Cowboys. Sean Alexander also injured, by the way, but he'll continue to play with a cracked bone in his left wrist. Plenty of other injuries of note. Let's just focus on the quarterbacks. Back to the Rams. Offensive coordinator Greg Olson said Monday, Mark Bulger has been playing with two broken ribs, but will continue to go. The MRI on Panthers QB, Jake DeLome's elbow, showed no damage. Just a strain listed as day-to-day. -day. Could back up David Carlo Sunday against Tampa. And Lovey Smith said Monday, quote, we'll see what happens Wednesday, close quote, in reference to Rex Grossman as the Bears starter. That's just a day after saying Rex was the team's quarterback. It's been a very strange 48 hours for the San Diego Padres. First, Milton Bradley had to be restrained while arguing with first base umpire Mike Winters over an incident that the Padres are saying Winters initiated. Baseball, by the way, is investigating that situation. Then, while being restrained, manager Bud Black wrestled Bradley to the ground, thus tearing his ACL. Oh, by the way, he's done for the year. Mike Cameron also lost for the final week of the season in that same game with a partially torn thumb ligament one he suffered diving for a ball when he was stepped on by, who else, Milton Bradley. So it all comes full circle. Don't forget, they're in the chase for the NL wild card, but without two big bats, they fell Monday night in San Francisco, 9-4 the final in the first of three by the Bay. Because of the loss, the Phillies moved into a tie in the wild card with the Padres. Both teams just a game up on the Rockies. Colorado tonight begins a three-game at Chavez Ravine, three-game series, that is, uh, while the Phils host the Braves. All right, time for the Wits Hits. Three things for you to catch up on at CBSSports.com. The Surrey County prosecutor seeking an indictment in the Michael Vick case already pled guilty in the federal case, so see what a local indictment could mean. Mike Tyson will most likely be heading back to jail. Monday pleaded guilty to drug possession and driving under the influence stemming from a traffic stop last year. The former heavyweight champ faces up to more than four years in prison. And on a positive note, fantasy football. Check out who's hot, who's not, only at CBSSports.com. All right, so that'll do it for the sports update presented by Toyota for Tuesday, September 25th. Baseball's race is down to the last six games. The latest injury news all right here. Enjoy the night in sports. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.